So as we get started, because we don't have, I don't get a whole lot of time with you, so I want to make sure you get to see all the steps. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our dressing. So I'm going to grab this stainless steel bowl. This is something, again, that you should do in advance. Make the dressing, have it ready, so that way on Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, whatever your busiest morning might be, you can throw these ing other ingredients into the, to the, the bowl and get it mixed, and onto the service line it goes. Super fast, super fresh, and super delicious. So we're going to take a little bit of Greek yogurt. Now this is a low-fat Greek yogurt. We're going to do about a quarter of a cup in there. Obviously, if you follow the recipe, you, you won't be doing, doing about, because I know how stringent they can be. You want to make sure you're doing the right amount. We got the Greek yogurt in there. We're also going to take a little bit. Now this could, doesn't have to be Greek yogurt. If you happen to have low-fat yogurt, it will work the same. I happen to enjoy the consistency of Greek yogurt. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit more tart, which I like. We've got a little bit of raw honey. Now, if you don't have raw honey, you can use whatever you have it at the in the kitchen, the clover honey or, or any kind of uh, fresh honey. This is just a, a nice way to sweeten the recipe. Also, if you don't have honey, if you have to use sugar, that will work. Brown rice syrup could also work um, if you are into any of those naturals like stevia or something like that, you can also use that. I happen to like the honey just for the, the simple flavor that it brings. We're gonna take that, we're just gonna whisk that honey into the yogurt. Now we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil. If you have olive oil, great, extra virgin would be the way to go. I know that that may not be uh, a regular ingredient in your kitchen, so if you have a pumice oil or even a salad oil will work. Really what we're doing is we're adding just a little bit of fat to help soften the rawness of the vegetables counter the acidity uh, of the yogurt, which is why I like the Greek yogurt, because it has a little bit more acidic flavor. We're doing a quick whisk of that. The honey mixes in. Once we've got that made, it's, a, it's still kind of a thick dressing, but it's not an overly powerful dressing. We're not looking to make a dressing that's going to uh, really you know, drown the vegetables. We want to keep them nice and fresh. The other thing that we still need to put in there is a little bit of fresh lemon. So I'm going to take a lemon, cut that, Squeeze it now. If you have pre-squeezed lemon juice, perfect. And one of the things we learned when we were, when Lori and I were on the road, when the produce moms and I were were traveling to see uh, all of you in your schools, was how, what we talked about is how much the lemon can add to a dish, how much vibrancy it adds, how much freshness it can add. The USDA is not going to uh, have a problem with extra fruit juice going in, uh, uh, fresh natural fruit juice, unsweetened fruit juice going into the recipe. The USDA actually encourages that. So now we've got our dressing. As you can see, it's, it's not a thin dressing, but it's also not gloopy and thick. We're gonna then start to add our ingredients. So we're gonna start with Duda uh, Dandy Sweet Celery, my favorite celery. It's just crunchy and delicious. It adds such wonderful texture. And again, our super sweet corn. So we're gonna put a little of this. Now this has already been stripped off the, the cob itself. We've got our radish mini sticks also by Dandy, which are fabulous because they're great on your salad bars. If you're one of the schools that's fortunate enough to have a salad bar, this is a great compliment. They come already cut, so a lot of that, what we would call those really skilled knife techniques, are already handled for you. Red cabbage also. And I love the fact that when you buy these pre-washed, ready-to-use ingredients, they already have been washed, and so the, the red cabbage is not gonna bleed all over everything. If you've ever worked with raw red cabbage, it can tend to turn everything pink, so we're gonna avoid that. A Little bit of shredded green cabbage. Now this can be bought already shredded. A Little bit of fresh shredded carrot. We've got some green onions that I mentioned earlier. We're gonna use those in there. And we're gonna do a little bit of fresh dill. Now I like to just kind of tear the dill. If you happen to have dry dill, you can use that as well. The fresh is, is a, maybe it'd be a luxury at times, but in goes a little bit of the fresh dill. And we've got a little tong here. So we'll do a pinch of salt. Make sure you're doing the right amount of salt. A pinch of pepper. Oh, that was a lot of pinch. And we'll start to mix this. And as you can see, already those beautiful colors are just jumping out of you, screaming that this is the rainbow. This is, uh, you, you should, somewhere there should be unicorns floating around this place. But here it comes, the great color. Again, it's not a heavy dressing. It's not meant to overpower or really overly coat. It's a great way to Coat the vegetables, again, as I mentioned, soften some of that rawness, but not overpower them, not hide or, or mask any of the natural flavors. But you've got great color. Now from that, we'll take our serving bowl. Now you will be putting this onto your service line. We've got this cute little platter here. We'll take that. And on goes that delicious, colorful, 
very sweet because of the, the natural ingredients in there, right? The, a little bit of honey, but also the celery, the corn, the cabbages, the carrots. Everybody, every kid loves, loves celery and carrots. So that goes on there like that. Gorgeous, we'll set that back over here. If you have time, I know in some of your lunch lines you may not have the time, those, those kids are hungry and ready to go, but you could always throw a little extra color on top, a little extra garnish, and there you have a really fabulous, simple, easy slaw to make that's going to jump off the, the service bar and onto your student's tray because it's, it, it just, look at it, it's beautiful, it's fabulous, and they're gonna love that. This is a great slaw if you have the, if you wanna make this into a salad, easily adding grilled chicken or even some kind of a uh, uh, grilled steak maybe if you have it. This is a great salad, this is a great slaw to make at home. So when, the, when you see how much the kids love it, you're gonna take it home and your friends are gonna love it this summer too. So enjoy uh, this really simple, delicious recipe. Hopefully you get into the, uh, the cookbook that we put together with Produce Mom and, uh, and Dandy is one of uh, the, the, the sponsors of that. And really just, just enjoy what you do. You do such a great job already. All we want to do is try and provide for you a few more tools to, to make your job easier and more fun. And the one thing I would say that I enjoyed the most about meeting all of you in Indiana was meeting you and, your, and who you were, the personalities that you had. Let those personalities shine. Let the kids see how much you jo enjoy what you do because it really is truly an honor to do the profession you do. So thank you again and it's great to meet you. I hope to meet you in person soon. Enjoy the show.